Hello YouTube, today I want to show you probably one of the best lock screen tweaks for the iPhone or iPod Touch and the first I want to give a shout out to iPod Touch Helping because he's the one that made a video that showed me this and I thought I should pass it on to the people following us. So I also did some uh, little thing to make it faster for you guys and basically I'm going to show you what it looks like. So here's the lock screen. You have a little slider there, you have the time and nice uh, big digits you have a tweet from someone you can put in someone's name and you'll get the tweet it'll update every hour i just did omg facts so every time i turn on my iphone every hour or, or every time they update at least i'll get a new f a new interesting fact you also have your weather and then your time displayed very nicely so <coughs> excuse me i've been feeling a little sick and what you're going to need to do is um go to cydia and search lock screen and you'll see something called lock screen clock hide you're going to want to install that and then you're going to look for sub lime and you can take it from the video description uh, lock HD and whatever you can get any of them and then you just um install that once you've installed that what you're going to need to do is go into winterboard which i have right here kind of do select themes and then uh tap the one with uh subline lock and then you're going to want to respring and then after that i'm going to show you how to customize it so what you're going to do is go into Safari, and I'm already there, but if you're not there, what you need to do is go to 3.ly, y, sorry, 3.ly, slash, and then slash lock settings. And I made this a link so you can get to the thing faster. A link to Dropbox, which will have this text. That's all you need. So you just copy it. Oops. You just select it all. Copy it. Go to here. And paste it. And then press enter. And I did that so you don't have to go into the information and do everything. All you have to do is go to 3ly slash lock settings. And then paste the the file system path that you see right there into your browser and then you get to the settings so you can click on this and scroll through uh, there's a bunch of theme like types of ones like different colors and preferences you can make it show the weather and how you get your Yahoo code is on your computer you can click the link in the description of the video search where you live and then at the URL the last, um, there'll be, at the URL, there'll be, uh, a, f a few digits at the end. You just copy those and put them into your settings for your iPhone right here. And I'll have it described in the, in the description. And you're going to want to choose Fahrenheit or, or it's default Celsius. You can change it to Fahrenheit if you prefer. You could see how many times you want to update weather. Every one hour is fine for me. And then you can make it show Twitter, and then you just type in the username, you know, like Twitter slash, I'm following OMG Facts. Um, you can do that if you want, or you can follow me, iPod Up link. And then you just, hit, you have to hit save, I always forget that. And then it will save it successfully. And then all you have to do is go here, respring. And once it's done, you'll have your beautiful lock screen customized to the way that you want it. Just going to wait for that. And it's loading up. There we go. So it's loaded and it's... Um, it just looks really nice. It has like retina display graphics, I believe. And if you like this video, definitely thumbs up. 
and you can subscribe if you want. That's it for now, and I'll see you guys later.